Um, there's this um, common issue here in Santa Fe that I've been thinking about recently, and being a part of this biennial has made me um, think about it a lot more, about the, our issue of identity um, and um, culture, and our cultural identity being um, here at Site Santa Fe, we were um, human. We were, we were anthropomorphic beings moving with emotion and philo philosophy based on whoever we are. Um, going back to sort of the expectation of what, of what it means to be indigenous and how that, um, there's, it seems like there has been a, a long-standing um, sort of riff between the Indian art world and the contemporary art world. And I feel like this opportunity that we had to be here um, sort of re-evaluated or, re or begins to redefine that um, stereotype or judgment of what Indian art is. Um, and I, I, you know, it, it, there's the, the constant the constant concept of, you know, this is this, I'm saying this because this is a Santa Fe thing, right? <laughs> I mean, Indian market is here. It seems like the main Indian art market is based in Santa Fe. Um, and I really feel like there, there's a definite need to redefine um, those cultural identities and how that relates to capitalistic belief systems. Um, I don't know, um, I guess, <laughs> Do you have, like, there's a lot of thoughts. I guess you won't be going to Indian Market this year, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, there's the constant concept of, like, okay, A, I'm, I'm a human being who walks um, on two legs. B, um, I eat, drink, and sleep. C, I'm a creative person. I'm an artist. Down the line, you may be from Cairo. You may be from Bulgaria, you may be from Santa Clara Pueblo, but your story is your story. And I think when we begin to put those stories into boxes and have expectations of what you believe those stories will be, and it's based on sort of what the consumer wants from that, is very, very frustrating. And I think for a long time, um, Indian arts has been kept in sort of this box, and it hasn't been able to evolve into, you know, we're talking about a local versus global. And, and I think our story is everyone's story. Our story is everyone's story. And when it's kept down, when it's sort of, I feel like it has been sort of condescended on, the creative process of indigenous people hasn't been able to necessarily break into the global art world that it could be. And I really feel like creating these relationships mostly with the other artists from the different countries and, and, and realizing our, our incredible um, similarities, our incredible understandings, our building this family, this real family, it begins to, to, to thread, the, the string begins to thread to all different places in the world. And I think our line becomes much more metaphorical than just this, this clay thing we made. It became so much bigger than that. <laughs>